Hey, good morning, guys. According to Austin police, there's about a dozen people living in this tunnel at any given time. Recently, they arrested several people for trespassing. The area we're talking about is a tunnel running under East Riverside Drive at Willow Creek. In September, police identified it as a hot spot for various criminal activities like drug deals and prostitution. A special operation team reached out to homeless people living in the area, working to figure out why they choose to live in the tunnel. Throughout the process, police found large large piles of trash, food, used needles, human waste, and other items making it not safe for people to be living. Starting tomorrow, the Austin Watershed Protection will start removing all of the debris, and that's something nearby businesses are thankful for. We're trying to help out the community as much as we can, um, but it gets to the point that we also want the community to be safe. There are places where they can camp legally right now with the way the city ordinances are set up. But the, the tunnel is, a, is not an option. It's a flood hazard. Yeah, so they also advise that the water in that tunnel wall is flowing into Lady Bird Lake. So because of safety concerns, the watershed protection will be setting up a barrier to prevent people from living in that tunnel. Austin police say that barrier could be complete sometime by this summer. Now back to the studio. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, according to Austin police, there's about a dozen people that are living in this tunnel. They recently arrested several people for trespassing in the specific area we're talking about as a tunnel running through East Riverside Drive at Willow Creek. In September, police identified it as a hot spot for various criminal activity like drugs and prostitution. A special operation team did reach out to homeless people living in that area, working to figure out why they chose to live in this tunnel. Throughout the process, police found large piles of trash, food, used needles, human waste, and other items, making it not safe for people to live there. Starting tomorrow, the Austin Watershed Protection will start removing all of the debris, and that's something nearby residents are extremely thankful for. We're trying to help out the community as much as we can, um, but it gets to the point that we also want the community to be safe. There are places where they can camp legally right now with the way the city ordinances are set up. But the, the tunnel is, a, is not an option. It's a flood hazard. And the watershed protection says they also plan on setting up a barrier to prevent people from entering this tunnel. And that is expected to be completed sometime by this summer.